Yo, what's up guys? What's happening? It is your boy. Welcome to another episode of Scary Fridays. What is this episode? 16? Yeah. How did I forget already? Damn. Anyways. I want to say I've uploaded every day this week or the past two weeks. I'm not sure. I think it's just been this week. No. No, it's been two weeks already. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But today, March 12th and back, if you want to check, you know, March 12th and back. Two weeks or two Mondays. Check, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I've uploaded except Sundays. But I believe I've uploaded every day that week or these past two weeks, whatever. I want to say I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. You know, considering I don't have the best, you know, I'm in my car right now again. But um, yeah, considering I don't really I can't really record when I want because of the area or my situation, whatever. So I have to come out here and do it. Anyways. I'm, tr I'm trying something different. So I screen recorded already what I'm going to react to. And um, hopefully it comes out right. Because I usually screen record while I'm actually reacting to it, you know. So... And since I'm in my car, I kind of struggle getting internet on my computer. So I don't have to worry about that now. Let's just see if it worked out good. I keep, my eyes keep twitching. I don't know why. I mean, this, like, blinking them fast, I do it on purpose. Man, fuck that shit. Y'all didn't come here for that. Y'all ready for this? Oh, yeah, here's your lineup. Wait, hold up. Where, do I, where can I be? What? Well, I haven't even edited out yet. Fuck it. Lineup's right here. We got... MJ, we had, no wait, your weirdo MJ, Sir Spooks, and uh, Crypt TV. I keep looking out because I feel like there's like clouds shaped like tornado, like a tornado. So I'm like, what the hell? Nah, we don't have those in Kelly. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Anyways, shit. Why am I hyped today? I don't know. All right. <clears throat> this first one is a deep web horror story from your weirdo MJ. Okay, now are you ready? Damn. Let's go. The story I'm about to tell you happened a few years ago. And after a few weeks, it came to a screeching halt. One day, a few years back, I found myself browsing what is known as the deep web, or the dark web, some call it. Because being an army ranger and having a huge attraction to wide varieties of firearms... A friend of mine told me to search the deep web, describing the multitudes of websites they have, showcasing high-grade military firearms, all the way down to 22 caliber pistols that you can buy pretty much anywhere. I start searching and come up on things like rocket launchers, silenced 50 caliber Berettas, and even military-grade body armor, which I found weird because things like these are mostly military use only. For real. Anyways, what the hell? after browsing different... Wasn't that ray gun from a freaking <laughs> from zombies? I mean, I'm pretty sure he just did it, you know, to make people laugh. Unless they do have ray guns in the freaking <laughs> deep web. That'd be cool. My eye keeps on twitching. Weaponry websites. I decided to dig a little deeper, having researched exactly what this was and seeing the many different things the deep web holds. I come across a website which was known what for the snuff videos which are basically POV murder clips of someone being murdered for the excitement of others. I don't find this all that exciting myself, but it's something that one just becomes curious about. Nah. After a while, a little chat box appears at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Hey there, the message read. I decided not to respond to this because I got a real good impression on the creepy fucks that tend to stick around on these websites. Exit out. Another message appears though. Ignoring would be a huge mistake on your part. Now, considering my background, I do not take kindly to threats, 
And as a wise person I know once said, if you want somebody to fuck off, you tell them to fuck off. You don't say, nice sweater. So I did just that. Go fuck yourself, I responded. <laughs> After a few minutes of silence, this chat box turns into what I thought was a picture at the time. But it turned out to be a live feed after seeing someone walk in front of the camera. Hi, Nick. After uh... staring at the screen, shocked and speechless for a few moments, the man says, What? Got nothing to say now? How do you know my name? He sounded like a fighter just a few minutes ago. After realizing that he can see and hear everything from the microphone and camera on my laptop, I responded, How do you know my name? For real. He laughs and responds, I know everything about you and starts describing pictures that were at that moment saved on my laptop yeah. some consisting of my little sister brother mother and father except okay let me just stop you right there that's okay first of all you shouldn't be going on a deep web dark web at, period at all but another reason why you shouldn't is because of that you know most of these people are hackers and they can hack into your sh I don't even, I, I might as well say it. I've already been cussing. I'll probably censor it out anyways. But yeah, they could hack into your shit. You just don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't see anything good coming out of going to the deep web or dark web. Like, honestly, I would lie to you if I was to say I'm not interested in it. Because it does, I get curious about it once in a while. But... I know better, you know? Like, I know not to, especially if they can hack my stuff with all. I mean, I don't really have much on my computer. Like, personal stuff. Unless they can search deeper, you know? Whatever. I, I, I wouldn't. Still in shock and speechless about what is actually happening, he laughs once more. I'll see you real soon, Nick. And the feet cuts. Now, I know all about keyboard warriors and common trolls on the internet, but this was different. I didn't expect him to actually go through with this, but I was wrong. What happened? Some days, I would come home to pictures of myself from the feed laying on the porch, the and even had an incident where my neighbor told me that somebody was scouting around my house. After learning this, I started keeping my shotgun near me at all times while in the house. Things started to escalate at night, however. Some nights, I would hear random knocks on the windows, starting from the front of the house and working its way to the back in rapid succession, and even had a break in one night while I was out with my friends. According to the police, the door in my carport leading into the far end of the house had been pried away from the frame, allowing full access into my house. Nothing was stolen, thankfully, but everything in my house was just thrown and trashed. The next morning, I had a security company come out and install cameras around my house that can be accessed from my iPhone at any time. That's what I want to get. Just a few days after doing this, it finally ended. One night, though, I was sitting on my kitchen preparing food for myself. Then I hear... It was coming from the windows on the front of my house. Hold on. It... Ah, damn. If that was me, like if I was by myself and I hear somebody knock on the window... Unless, unless, unless they already tried the front door and I didn't hear it and I didn't unlock it, I would not. Hell no. I'd be scared, honestly. Especially, especially if I know I just went on the dark web or deep web and I talked to that whoever he talked to. Hell no. I would be jumpy after that. You know, like every little sound. <sighs> That's crazy. That's why it's never a good idea. There's a storm shutter attached on the outside though, so I just blew it off as the wind making the shutter tap the window. Not even two minutes later, I hear a loud bang. It comes from my front door. Something I can only describe as a linebacker running full speed into the door. At this moment, all red flags pop up in my head. The laundry room, which has the circuit breaker to my house, is connected to the kitchen. I grab my shotgun, walk into the laundry room, and cut all the power to my house so everything is consumed in pitch darkness. I walk back into the kitchen and level the site with my eye and just wait until something or someone crosses its path. After a few minutes, it seems as whatever it was might have left until I heard this person trying to pry open the carport door again. 
I creep over to the sunroom, which is connected to the door this guy's coming through, and wait. He manages to pry the door open and steps in. At this moment, my heart is jackhammering like a quarterback on prom night. For real. I raise my weapon up and wait for him to take a few more steps for safe measure. After his fourth or fifth steps, I pump the shotgun to load around into the chamber. He stops, dead in his tracks. I give him a few moments to see whether he's going to run or keep coming in. A few moments pass, and just when I think he's going to turn around and run out, he takes a step forward. I pull the trigger, and the sound of a cannon echoes throughout my house. He is blown a couple of feet back into the wall behind him, Damn. blood splattering across the wall. After watching him lay for a few moments without the slightest hint of life, I call the police. You see how my boy slid out? That fool, that fool dead ass just... After questioning me, I give them the whole story. They tell me he's a felon with a rap sheet a mile long, including kidnapping and attempted rape. He also had a knife and duct tape in pockets of his hoodie. I cannot even imagine what he had planned for me if I wasn't armed that night. He's probably gonna kidnap you. Hold on, let me stop it. He was probably gonna kidnap you too. I feel like people that have that go on a dark wave, they should already have some type of record, you know? Not that they should, but like you you shouldn't be surprised that they have a type some type of record already. I mean I wouldn't. But anyways, you see how I I did it the screen record different, so now it's a Sir Spooks, so I can't really I'll still do it though. Alright, next video. NEXT! Okay, this one is from Sir Spooks, and honestly, I forgot what it's called. Yep, see, that's the trouble with this now. I, I, I can't see what it's called. Yeah, what? I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, you guys won't be able to tell either. Oh, yeah, why put it on the... I'm, I'm lost. This is new. I'm doing it. I'm doing this. This is my new way of doing it. Hopefully. But you guys already know what it's called. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we will take a look at five scary videos you should not watch after 10 p.m. So, let's begin. I think it's like six right now. <laughs> Just a couple of weeks ago, a young girl took to YouTube to share a video regarding something that she is clearly quite passionate about, gymnastics. You wouldn't think that a video in which a girl showing off her gymnastic skills could turn into something creepy, right? Well, you'd be wrong. Mm. For the first 30 to 40 seconds, everything seems to be going absolutely as planned. The girl performs a move and when she finally lands each one, you can tell she looks quite happy and then goes right into the next one. Uh -huh. But watch what happens right here after she finishes performing a move. What the? Yeah. Did they see it? It's clear that the girl is a little bit shaken up over the incident that just happened in front of her eyes. Shit, I would too. And proceeds to tell her mom off camera what happened. Amazingly though, she eventually says it's fine and proceeds to get right back into her routine. Nah. But look what happens next. Oh crap. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Gone. Yep, that would have been, that would have been me the first time. Hell no, you fucking. <laughs> that would have been me the first time, bro. Hell no. I knew, I already knew staying there after that first time was going to be a mistake. I'm pretty sure that second one got her. She left the computer, left her family right there. I feel weird. Like I'm in this, I'm like out. I should have turned my car around. Cause like I'm literally facing the street. I'm in my driveway, but I'm facing the street. 
So anybody walking by can like see me in here. But I can't really see them since it's dark right now. It's weird. What do you guys think happened here? Was this a poltergeist caught moving stuff in the kitchen? Yep. Or was it a hoax? Nah. Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, then again, look, you see how she's running around? She was kind of smiling. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it was kind of more, it would be more believable if she would have kind of been like, like making like noises running out, you know, like, like she's about to cry type of noises. That would have been making more, that would have made it more believable. She's kind of smiling though. I don't know. You let me know. Just a reminder to go subscribe to my new channel, Spooky Hour. And turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any new uploads. Link in the description. Okay. I did not know that. I might just do that. Dark Ghost Paranormal is without a doubt one of the most popular and beloved Russian horror YouTube channels that specializes in content relating to abandoned building explorations, paranormal investigations, and many, many more to satisfy your itch for horror. In one particular video uploaded to their channel on November 25th, 2020, the group goes out to explore an abandoned house at an undisclosed location, but presumably in Russia. For the first couple of minutes, the crew seemingly has no luck when it comes to finding anything out of the ordinary throughout the house. There's rubble and debris all over the place, but that's nothing unusual for an abandoned house. But they finally get their first scare of the night once they explore the attic. Take a listen. Freaking attic, man. That sucks. I have my, my light plugged into my car and my car just turned off. I didn't have it on. I just had the, the battery on. And it just went off. So I guess I'm going to have to keep doing this or I have to go, go, go get my other wire to plug it into the laptop. I don't want to have to do it. So hopefully... Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but we'll see. I just heard steps though. I didn't see anything. A little while later, one of the men is shown exploring what appears to be a heavily run-down kitchen type area. For real? Where all is as quiet as can be. You can honestly hear a pin drop in here. And that's probably why this next moment startled the cameraman so much. What the f that kind of got me. A what? What is it? What? Well, I didn't even see that. I just noticed it. The freaking, the instrument, the shit that you squeeze. I don't even know what the hell it's called. You see the shit sitting on the dresser? Like next to the chair? You know the, the shit that looks like a V? That shit's opening and closing, making that noise. I didn't even know it was that. I just noticed it. Fuck. Oh, uh, why do these people do this? Gone. I don't even know why you still, he's still in there. Only five minutes later, the strange activity continues. One of the men can be seen sitting down in one area of the building while he scrolls through his phone while sitting in front of a table adorned with candles. But by taking a look at the wall behind him and the closet door a little bit after that reveals that he's not alone. What's that? Y'all seen that? The shadow? Right here? Oh, well, they pointed out. Oh, 
I'm always fascinated by the people that choose to stay after they experience so many bizarre events during an investigation. For real. But some are just braver than others. Yep. And this video proves that the folks at Dark Ghost Paranormal are certainly brave. Yep. Question. I mean, I don't know if anybody will know, but like that little woman noise, sound, whatever voice. It, did it sound Russian or whatever language they speak? I wonder if every ghost, like the ghost in Russian, speak Russian. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, but they're dead people. Those people probably spoke Russian. And... Okay. I don't know. I was just curious. Probably stupid. <laughs> This next video published to YouTube on the channel, Maximum Disclosure, back in 2013, seems like something you would see straight out of a horror movie. It's very simple, sure, but sometimes that's all you need to creep you out. Something that's short and sweet. In the video, we seem to be watching the basement stairs from a camera that the homeowner supposedly set up in order to capture any strange activity. I'm certain that when they check their camera the next morning, they were in for a huge shock. Oh, Take yeah? a look and see the creepy events that I'm Wait, what the f overnight. Oh, I thought I was tripping. That ball keeps rolling up. Or, yeah. Yeah, no, somebody's moving that. Yeah, somebody moved that for sure. Something like this is almost scarier than seeing a ghostly figure on camera because your brain keeps pondering how exactly this can be possible. A man on TikTok known as It's Louis Vuitton is driving around late at night with a friend of his and having a fun time simply enjoying the night without any worries. But that all changes sometime during that drive when Louis notices something that prompts him to stop recording in case he's able to capture something on film. The two friends can be heard debating what exactly it is that they just saw a moment prior, with one of them saying it sort of looked like a buck. Eventually, they roll their vehicle to a stop and proceed to make efforts to get a better look Take a look and see what they saw for yourselves. Wait, wait a second. I, I think I see a... No one? Uh, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? <gasps> what is that? Dude, that's what a... Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that what a buck? What the hell? What is that? Dude, that's what a... Why did they cut it off? Yeah, that shit looks weird. It has like a human shape, but it's running weird, so. It sounds like a cat, though. I, I heard a cat. Sadly, just after that, the video ends abruptly, so we don't have any answers as to what exactly this creature was. The two friends sound audibly worried, and equal parts curious, too. What could have possibly been in the bushes that night? Was it some sort of chilling humanoid creature? Was it just a person playing a joke on the friends? Or was this just an elaborate setup? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. It's it's believable. In my opinion. This final entry is a four-part series of videos coming to us from the TikTok account Dino Nuggets 741 who seems to be experiencing some truly horrifying activity in his house as of recent. In the first video, we can hear what sounds like a faint banging sound coming from the basement, which audibly freaks the uploader out. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? I keep hearing weird noises in the basement, Steve, so... I just heard a sound too awesome, my neighbors. <laughs> I was hearing some shit too. I just wanna... 
But if you think that's creepy, just take a look at what happens only moments later. A ver. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shh. Oh, no way, oh my god, oh my god. He then proves that there is no possible way for this to have been pulled by some sort of string, making it all the more interesting. See, that's what I like. People prove that it's not a hoax or they're not, you know. A follow-up video published just a few weeks later displays some of the same freaky activity happening not in the basement this time, but right in the shower. He could have pushed that one. The last place you'd expect to experience strange activity. He could have pushed Take that himself. What happens here? Oh shit! You see how he didn't show the whole door? He could have pushed it himself. Okay, never mind. Unfortunately for the uploader, his encounters with the paranormal do not end there. As a mere three days later, he posted yet another video to TikTok, which seems to display even more frightening events. But this time, instead of seeing something weird, we hear it. Take a listen. Steve, are you home, bro? I just hear banging. Hello? But perhaps his most interesting and scary video comes from just a week ago, where he seems to be experiencing yet another encounter with the other world. I'd rather see it. He points his camera at the wall in front of him, and it doesn't take long for something truly terrifying to happen. Look at this. More noises. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Shh. After seeing this, he musters up the courage to investigate a little bit further. No, he hell no. Check every room nearby that he can, but ends up finding nothing out of the ordinary at all. Judging by how many videos he has on this matter, we can expect to see a new one in the near future. But let's just hope that one day. This user can finally get the PC so desperate. Fuck, bro. Hell no. And that was five. That one, that last one, that, that one's crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'm so I'm going to check out his other channel and see what he got. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to ask for permission if I like it enough to react to it, you know? But, we'll see. Yeah, they, these were alright. Alright. Next video. NEXT! Okay, this one is from Crypt TV. And I forgot what it's called. I'm pretty sure you guys just seen it. Yeah, I forgot what it's called already. I'm sorry. This is probably going to happen constantly. If I do it this way, at least. Which I'm probably going to have to. Since I get no internet out here. So every time you keep you see me doing this, it's because I'm blocking the light so I can see outside. You know, just in case somebody's just standing right in front of my car looking at me. I'm paranoid. Okay, yeah, this one's from Crypt TV. I don't, I forgot what it's called. I'm sorry. Pretty sure you've seen it already. <clears throat> already, I don't like to talk with these, so I'm gonna try and stay in quiet as quiet as possible. <clears throat> Let's go. Crawl space. That's what it's called.
Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> How is he still there, bro? Oh my god. What's wrong with these people? Oh, well, like I said before, I know it's acting. Hell no, bro. Like, I mean, small spiders I can do, you know? But like tarantulas and shit. I don't even know what the hell that was. Obviously, it's fake, but... It was weird. I can't do spiders, but I've I freaking carried a snake before on my neck. <laughs> Don't really make sense. <sighs> okay. Get up! Come on! There you go. I'm sorry, it happened again. Okay, hopefully it's the last time. Let's continue. Subscribe for new scary videos and comment with your theories on the Crypt Monster universe. Remember, it's all connected. Okay, so the last one, the one, the Crypt TV, it was pretty, you know, I, I, I think that's the word, suspenseful. You know, it had, it had some, it had some tense moments, you know, obviously I was like this the whole time. It was good, you know, but I was expecting more jump scares, you know. And when there was supposed to be one, there wasn't one. The the noise just got just went up a little bit. You know, it wasn't like a jump scare. I'm sorry, I'm about to get my ass inside. Even though it's like it's probably like six, maybe seven. It's pretty dark already. But yeah, um, let me see. I'm gonna give this week. Well, this scary Friday. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it about a, a solid, a solid six. You know, it wasn't really scary. You know, they were good. You know, I was entertained, but you know, I want to be scared. 
That's why I keep asking you guys to send me videos from the people that I have permission to react to. So if, just in case you forgot, well, I'm in the green screen, huh? Where should I put it? Because I'm pretty sure I have my, my social media posted around me. I'll just block it anyways, like if you don't know anyways. I don't even know what site I'm on. Whatever, I'll put it. There's my list of people I can react to. So, you know, go check them out. And if it's scary enough for you and I haven't reacted to it, feel free to send it to me. Either I'll react to it on its own or a scary Friday. Depend depending what it is. Like if it's a a film, a short horror film with real actors in it, then I'll save it for a scary Friday. But if it's like an, an animation, well, I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, send me some stuff. And maybe even if I don't have permission from them, just send me a video to the scariest video you know. And I'll contact the uploader and get permission. Just send me a video to the scariest video you know. And I'll make sure to do it ASAP. Um, yeah. I don't really have much to say. I'm going to try to continue uploading every day for the next week coming up. Because I believe I, I did it. I believe I did it for the for sure this week. I'm not sure if I did it last week as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Um, Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to come watch this video i appreciate that you know i've never said that honestly but i was thinking about it the other day since i watch people and i'm like i'm like i have a lot of free time to watch videos you know and i was like damn even though i don't have a lot of viewers i have up to this point i think i have 76 76 subscribers you know i've grown a little bit but, um, yeah, you know, hopefully I keep growing and I've seen, I've noticed that I've never thanked you guys for taking the time out of your day to come watch my videos, whether you watch it for a few seconds, a few minutes, you know, just to take the time out of your day to, oh, did he upload or oh, he uploaded? Let me click on it. Watch it for a few seconds. It don't matter, you know, just, uh, just grateful for that. I'm going to get out of your hair now. Um, yeah. Suggest anything down below. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.